animal science teacher Julie Anderson has a unique hobby of curating dead animal parts preserved in a formaldehyde acid. So there's a wide variety of things in the jars. Um, I have testicles from dogs, cats, and horses. I have the uterus and attached ovaries from cats and dogs. Um, I have an eye that was removed from a dog, an eye that was removed from a horse. I have the tumor. I have the f I have fetal pigs, um, fetal puppies. Um, I have cuterebra, which are fly larvae that were uh, implanted into a dog's face. I have um, a ascaris or a roundworm, which is the most co common parasite of puppies and kittens. Um, and I think that's kind of it. The real showstopper, however, lies in the largest jar of all. One of my favorites is the black lab puppy that had difficulty on its way out of the birth canal, and so they had to pull it, and that's a jar. His name's Shadow. Anderson's shelf is full of all these oddities, open for any students to come and inspect. For me, it's kind of like you usually never ever get to see that stuff, and it's kind of just like, whoa, it's actually real, you know? And it's like, like this is an eyeball. How cool is that? <laughs> Not only is this a rare sight to see, but it also provides her student a glimpse into their potential careers. I think it gives our students that are wanting to enter the animal industry a realistic interpretation of what kinds of things they're going to encounter, like pulling puppies that are already deceased, or pulling out fetal pigs, cutting off tumors, you know, spays and neuters, things like that. Reporting for WTV, I'm Stephanie Q.